The U.S. city of Miami has one of the hottest real estate markets in the country. And it's no surprise that the wealthy are trying to buy a piece of the luxury property pie. The flow of money continues despite the fact some prime parts of the city may literally cease to exist. CCTV's Nitza Soledad Perez finds out. Sobering findings from a team of American business experts in a report of the tax image. In 15 years, close to $70 billion of additional Florida properties could be at risk of high tide flooding. Officials in Miami say they're bracing for sea levels to rise between 15 and 25 centimeters by 2030. Miami Beach, a hot tourist destination and playground for millionaires and celebrities, is already struggling. Flooding inundates many streets at high tide whether or not it's raining. This phenomena, often called king tide, was more pronounced in September, six inches above normal. Oh, sometimes on a king tide, you will have the water coming all the way across the street to my door. And it would stay sometimes four or five days, maybe even longer. Miami Beach has a five-year plan to complete 80 new storm pumps that will collect and send up to 53,000 liters of seawater per minute back into Biscayne Bay. There's many parts of the system which were built over 100 years ago, so we're updating those pipes, installing new pipes that are um, sealed tighter, uh, as well as looking at uh, roads and sidewalks and raising uh, the roads and sidewalks in the lowest neighborhoods. Despite the clear risk, investors keep flocking to Miami, buying land and apartments as close to the water as possible, even the Chinese. A Chinese developer, China City Construction, just bought its second plot of Miami area land, paying $38.5 million for this acre. That's nearly half a hectare. In a real estate record, an eight-bedroom penthouse on Miami Beach sold in September for $60 million. Even though the distance between the ocean and the homes continue to shrink, uh, those homes are holding their value, they're appreciating at a similar rate as all other properties in the area until a particular point. And that particular point is where the ocean becomes too close to those properties. So until the water becomes a visible threat to properties, experts here do not foresee a real estate market crash. Many residents here prefer to avoid the topic of climate change and simply hope for the best. Investors, for now, don't seem to be demanding much more. But they are betting on Miami officials to keep the city afloat. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CCTV, Miami.